Jewish expression that goes like this. People make plans, God laughs. We think we know what's going to happen, and we really don't. Sound familiar, we have plans, but God shows up with other plans. And sometimes he shows up in person. A couple of thousand years ago, there was another the very weird year. And if they'd had the internet back then, maybe the Christmas story would have gone like this. It all started when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Herod, it's Quirinius. You're on mute. Doesn't matter. You don't need to talk. Just listen. All those plans you had for feasts and games and everything, cancel them. Because God just showed up. And by God, I mean August Caesar. He just sent out an order that everyone must go to their hometown to be registered. I know, right? Admin nightmare. Stop crying, Herod. Just get it done. Steve? Steve? It's Joseph. You're on mute. Yes, I was until a few minutes ago. Press the button down there. Press the... No, you see the button that... There, there, you see, he has to see it. it's lower than that, your screen, is it like, there? Oh, it doesn't matter. Can you write in the workshop and finish turning those shepherd crooks? I know, I'm sorry, I was going to do them, but I got to go to back to Bethlehem to register. No woman has a reply. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking Mary, who isn't technically my wife, wife, but... Long story short, God sold up in a dream and I was weird, but I haven't been eating didn't cheese. This angel said it's all straight up. Mary's going to have a baby and I'm going to call him Jesus. Yes, apparently it means God saved. Is that what it means? Do you know that? Maybe search it on Google. <laughs> Maybe search it on Google. Anyway, sorry to drop you in there, but I got problems too. I don't have luggage that fits on a donkey for a start. Do you? And feed the cat, Steve. Bye. <sighs> Hello, Mum. Mum? You're on mute. Maybe just... Oh, don't worry. I'll talk. Haven't got long. Joseph's is coming go over. I'm going to Bethlehem with jo him. He's from Bethlehem, the city of David. I'm having a baby. I was not planned quite so soon, but, well, God showed up. So plans have changed. He sent an angel to talk to me. I was making flatbreads at the time. He said I'll become pregnant and give birth to a son and name him Jesus. He'll be great, and the people will call him the son of the Most High. The Lord will give him the throne of King David, his ancestor. He'll rule over the people of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. So I said, I'm the servant girl of the Lord. Let this happen as you say. Which seemed like the right thing to say at the time. So I'm off to Bethlehem, Mum. I'll bring you back a souvenir. Casper, you are mute. Don't worry, there's no time to talk. We had to pack for a long journey west. Yes, I know you wanted to go to that party because the stars say you may be lucky in love, but plans have changed. God showed up. Look at that star. It's the brightest one you've ever seen. It's like something coming out of heaven. You only get this once in a while. Ever. It's a sign and we need to investigate. Remember where God's people came from? Yes, Israel. We need to go there. And I get this feeling we need to pack gold, incense and myrrh. Put that in. And maybe a rattle, cowpaw and maybe some formula. And I'll get the camels. Yes. Meet your first thing. Marcus, Malchus, you're mute. That's on purpose. Because I'm the king, I tell you what to do, and I don't care what you have to say. It's bad enough I had to cancel that big feast I was planning because of census. And now this. I was planning another feast to celebrate how brilliant I am. And then the three men from the East turned up wanting to see the king. And when I said, you found him, bow down and help yourself to chicken, they said they were looking for a baby who was born to be king of the Jews. They saw his star in the east and came to worship him. They fear that God showed up. I'm the king of the Jews. Ask Quirinius. 
My son is to be king next, not this baby. Marcus, I don't care how you do it or what you have to do, but find that baby. Jeff, Jeff, you're on mute. Doesn't matter. I'm pretty speechless myself. I've just seen something amazing. There we were on the hillside telling scary stories. I was in the middle of that one in which David fights Goliath. He does a really good Goliath voice. It always cracks me up. Yeah, but God showed up and well, everything's changed. There was a massive army of angels singing, telling us, what did he say? That a saviour has been born in David's town. He is Christ the Lord. We will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a feeding box. We want to go and have a look. So, Jeff, can you come out and mind the flock? They're no trouble. <laughs> well, well, not much trouble. <laughs> I'll leave you my crook. Those ones Joseph was going to make haven't come through yet. He's normally on time. Weird. Anyway, we're off to Bethlehem. Hello, Dad. I can see you, but I can't hear you. You're on mute. It doesn't matter because you're not, so you can't talk. I can, which is weird. But then right now, everything's weird. There I was settling down for the night in the stables when these two humans showed up. The donkey which started to eat my dinner. Not fair. And then there was a big commotion and screaming and shouting. And a third human showed up. A really small one, like a human calf, although he was the size of a lamb. And you know what they did with him? They put him in my feeding trough. Am I supposed to eat him? I may have four stomachs, but I can't eat that. I'm a herbivore. Then some shepherds showed up, but I don't have to listen to them. And then these wise men came from the east with some very old presents. And now it's quiet again. I just wanted to say, send some hay, because what's left is now bedding. Hey, for bedding, talk about posh. Who does this baby think he is? Anyway, I'm hungry. Send food. Mum, I've left your meat because he's asleep but he's perfect. I know everyone says that about their babies, but this one really is. We called him Jesus, Mum. I know you like the name Zerubbabel, but the angel said Jesus, but he will also be known as Emmanuel, which means God with us, because despite all our plans, God really showed up. <laughs>